Welcome, brother. All right, Zora, Zora, and Doxus. Now wait, that was the black fat guy from oh, Game of Thrones right. and uh, the greatest city on earth, Car. All right, um, about the race. That race, it was quite something. So the race is over. Tell me, please, how did it go? Not good. Terrible. Atrocious, really. Zora, prepare for the worst. What? Mother of God, what am I to do? Alas, you'll need to begin anew. Because Sir Divish wants to buy your horses. Why, I ought to wring your neck, you rat. That's not the kind of joke you play on a woman of my age. <laughs> Congratulations, Zora. <sighs> Thank you, lad. But how can I ever pay you back? Wait, I've got it. With your back. You'll get the best you know. saddle to be had in the whole province. Smill had it made in Kuttenberg. Great. Thank you. Thank you very much. It's you I owe thanks to, lad. Well, I have. I, I, I think I already have this saddle. Pretty sure I already have this one. Like, didn't they have like a special one or so? With the horse. Yep. That's the one I already have. Why don't they give us like a special one, like Zora's special thing? If you know what I mean. Um, I could, I could have done that. Ah, shit, nuts. Well, she doesn't have the money to pay for it anyways. Um, you get the riding boots and just. Oh, fine. Can we do? Well, of course we can. Guess we barely have any money anyway, so... Wait for the was What the hell? Alright, this quest is totally bugged and shit, but alright. Sport of Kings still fairly bugged. Incredible. Alright, so the next thing we need, that we need to do is actually to go back to Tarnberg. Now, the thing is... Well, we go to... Uh, not Tarnberg, Merhead. We need to go to Merhead, but... Tarnberg is, wow, fairly on its way. Um, so what I would like to do now is actually try to find 200 hairs while I'm walking over to Tarnberg. Let's see if I can manage to do that before the first pair of hair beat that we get spoils. All right, well, this, this will happen off camera because this will take way, way, way too much time. Speaking of way too much time, a horse, do you have any? Nope, you don't have any um, arrows. But I do have some arrows back in my trunk because I don't want to use my good arrows for, you know, hairs. Well, it appears that there's actually a quest here. Matthew? Matthew? And... What hey, what, what are you guys doing over here? Huh? Oh, that's something new. I didn't know that you guys were here. So, like Andrew is pissed about Matthew and Here's your Fritz. Shirt. Oh, hey. Thank you. Share of what? My share of what? What the hell are you on about? Well, that thing with Thomas, uh, somehow his ring ended up with us. Who's... What? Thomas? Who's he? That bastard of a foreman at the mill in Adechko, where you got us the job. Are you out of your tiny mind? If anyone finds out you robbed him, we'll all be fucked. Take it easy. <laughs> it wasn't theft exactly. We all know he stole that ring himself. So if it comes out, he'll be in the shit too. He'll keep his mouth shut. Okay. Where would you find someone willing to buy and not ask too many questions? It wasn't easy, but then Fritz thought of Andrew. Andrew's the guy back there. Hello, woman. Yes, I would like some beer. And how did it go with him? Well, first he didn't seem too keen. But when he saw the ring, he bought it off us. Actually, I'm not surprised. After all, we'll spend all the money on booze here anyway. Okay, so what now? What now? What will you do next? Now that you mention it... Uh. Out with it then. What have you thought up now? 
I can't help myself. <laughs> it's force of habit. We tried to be good at Sassel. And of course it didn't work. And it didn't work. Exactly. We broke our backs working in the mill. <laughs> While you eyed up the miller's daughter, yes, exactly. While you eyed up the miller's daughter. And they drove us out. The only worthwhile thing we did recently was give that wastrel a thrashing, take his ring, and sell it to Andrew. I'm not sure I like where you're going with this. And where's that? No one in the country gives a damn about the law. And if we knock some thief over the head in the woods, or ambush some wagon with supplies for Sigismund's soldiers, I won't lose any sleep over it. I don't like the sound of it. It's still robbery. Wake up, for Christ's sake! It's war! They skewered your parents, didn't they? They fucking burned down our fucking village, didn't they? Don't you give a damn about that? I fucking do, you fucking fuck. Of course I fucking do. And now, there's a herd of swine ransacking skeletons. Those fuckers are trampling over the ashes of Jeremiah, and Desmond, and Siegfried, and Tristan. Let's chop those bastards to pieces, one after the other. I can't let it go, Hal. Even if I have to do it on my own, I'll put the fear of God into those bastards. You won't be alone. We'll strike fear into these fuckers. We'll strike fear into the fuckers. <sighs> I knew we could rely on you, Hal. I knew it. All right, so. So, what's the plan? Yeah. Well, I thought Andrew, the innkeeper here, could help us, but he's nervous. Best ask Fritz. He sorted out selling the ring, and he knows Andrew better. All right, I'll do that. I was wondering, did we all get equal shares? No, you got less. <laughs> But still plenty. I don't like that. How come I have less? Because we had to fucking sell it. And don't forget, we didn't have to give you anything at all. I want more money for that ring. Yes. And why is that? Because, because... we're really good mates. <laughs> nice try. Okay, so there is a new quest. <laughs> Oh man, all right. Matthew and Fritz, eh? No. What is it? Never up to something good. All right, Fritz. Mate. My humble greetings. How may I serve you? What plan of yours? I hear you've got a plan to fleece the local villains. Be nice, wouldn't it? Otherwise, we soon won't have a pot to piss in. And the innkeeper here could lend a helping hand. Exactly. So what's the problem? Uh, he reckons we're not up to it. Y you should try and talk him into it. You were always good at that. Oh, and tell him I sent you, so he doesn't send you packing. Why do what? How should I deal with Andrew? Yes. Do you know Any tips? How I might set about convincing Andrew. Mention money. That's all. Hi. Our friend the innkeeper is as greedy as they come. Yeah, he won't get a dime. I'll keep everything for myself. I have barely any money as this. I only have 40, 54 money. Only 54. Forget about the K. Fritz sent me. I'd like to talk about... Ah, you'd like some wine from my cellar? I have it right here, in the back. That's right. Show me the way. Hey! Shut up, woman. Hmm. So, some good wine. I wonder where it is. What can we find? Hmm, probably over here. Ah. Hmm. Where's the. Oh, down here, eh? Be a bit more careful. But it's a bit dark around here. So, how about torch? Or light now? Hmm. I would like to pickpocket this place here. So, Andy. Fritz sent me. Look, lad, I'm fond of Fritz. I knew his old man, but Matthew, he's insane. Robbing people. Only those that deserve it. And you think his lordship won't mind? Have you any idea the kind of shit you can get into? 
I don't believe you're up to it. Why don't you believe us? It's war. It's coining it. Damn it, man. Do I look like somebody who would let himself get caught? Do I look <gasps> like a man who let himself get caught? <laughs> You've got balls, all right. Big Let's ones. See if you're up to it. Big balls. You'll need a disguise. What disguise? Use your head. You can never be sure no one will see you. Yeah, that's true. We'll have to put on some other clothes or... Dress up as humans. What? It's obvious, isn't it? Everyone knows they're looting. If someone's robbed by humans, no one will investigate. Hmm, that's true. But I'll have to get some human clothes. A captain's. And three sets of them. What? <laughs> on account of the helmets. No one will recognize you with them on. And where the hell am I supposed to get it? There's gangs of humans around skeletons. I've got a good idea where to find them from. Uh, passers-by. I'm supposed to attack a human camp. A minute ago, you were full of yourself. And now, all of a sudden, you've lost your nerve. But the whole fucking camp? Oh, scouts are deserters. Most likely the ones who are trying to skive off or take easy pickings. And even humans have to sleep. <laughs> Fine. Um, do we have, like, um, the masquerade? Ah. So there are three... Three possible places where we can scout them. Well, we're definitely going to go for D. Because, well, I want to go and look for... Thank you. Uh, Harris, anyways. The Masquerade. Uh, well, we sure as hell know how to party. Mm. I don't want to steal any of that, but just... Oh, that, that we can take, but... Other than that, not really worth it. What do we have over here? Only onions and shit. What do we have over here? Adam's family cross. Server. Oh, neck chain. All right. So. Adam's family cross. That's whatever that means. Um, this one has 20 and the silver one has only 14, so what's up with the Adam's family cross? Can we use it somehow? The quest or I don't know. Okay, so we need to attack a human camp or two. <sighs> Fine, but well, I still have to see if we can find some hairs or not. I'm honored that you should come to Oh yeah, here. Andrew says I have to get a disguise. Good day, a fucking Andrew. human's clothes and helmet. What? That's suicide. We don't even have weapons. And even if we did, we can't stand up to real humans. You don't even have to stick up with the fight? Yeah. A minute ago, you wanted to punish those bastards. And now you don't even have a stick. Even if I did, I wouldn't go attacking <laughs> a fucking human camp with it. Look, I'll go and see if I can sort it out. And meanwhile, you get us some weapons. Good, but be careful. Sure, but where's Fritz? The fucker. Where's he? Ah, he's probably somewhere around here. Motherfucker. Hello. But you still don't see me? Shit. Damn it. 
Oh, not good, not good, not good, guys. These are not the humans that we're looking for. Um, this is a different area. It's this camp over here. I didn't think that there would be humans around here. Shit. Ah, uh, that's not good, guys. Ah, uh, we already got hit. Shit. Fucking hell. Damn it. Stop. Ah, oh, you bastards, man. Let's flinch and get him. Shit, ouch. Fucking hell. What's with you? <clears throat> Bitch. In your stupid ass face. Shit, the third one came too. Damn it. I hope the third one wouldn't come. <clears throat> Fucking hell. Ow. Stop it. Good. One down. Ow. Fuck. We don't have our armor on. Should have put up the armor. But. Damn it. We're stuck here. Oh, stop it, you bastards. Damn it, our armor is going to be. Our clothes are going to be really broken. I can help you, bitch. What are you doing, Henry? Bitch in hell. All right. Mm. Now, question is, do we maybe get from this one here everything that we need? Three suits of Kuninama. That's two. Hmm. Maybe this is going to be enough already. And we don't have to raid like these this camp over here. But we also need the captain's one. Question is is there a captain over here too? I don't think so. Um that might be the Biggest issue here. Hmm. 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 All right. Anyways, let's uh, leave this place here first. This hair meat. Oh shit! No! I was cooking that. Ah oh, shit! I didn't want to. I already killed one hair. Well, that wasn't really necessary, was it? Now. Damn it. Where is it? Ah. There you go. Hmm. That's nice. Alright, so I got two perks actually. Um hunting. When I killed that hair, I got something else. Mmm. Raw food won't spoil that fast. You can eat raw meat. Now we're going to go wild at heart, so this makes it a lot easier. And go to stealth, which is going to be then uh, Rain Man. Sure, why not? Okay. Get three human disguises. Well, I have it, so let's go back then. Alrighty, Andrew. You, got your stuff. Andrew? Everything is done, like you asked. I've got them. Three full outfits. What? Everything? Of course. So what do you need? Um, Captain's helmet? Yes. It's quite... It's still fine. Um, Deliver? Deliver, deliver. Hmm... Right, done and done. The whole bloody lot. Well then, let's see how you look in it.
Okay. <laughs> it's getting more interesting, this quest. Oh. Is that it? it yes, it is. It's a bit... Uh... Ordinary? Are you serious? I got it straight from the fucking humans. Well, it's not exactly, uh... Terrifying, is it? <laughs> it's about as frightening as my aunt speckled in. They just don't look much like a cumin to me. Have any of you actually seen a cumin? What? Do you mean close up? <laughs> don't be daft. Mirror Mirror's described them many times. Everyone knows cumins are monstrous. They're barbarians. Pagans. Whereas you look like a little boy playing at soldiers. And just who the hell is Mirror Mirror? <laughs> regular in my tavern. He works as a caravan guard and he knows what he's talking about. He's been eye to eye with a human and he's lived to tell the tell. He knows shit. You can ask him yourself. I will. Oi, Henry. Take that ridiculous thing off before anyone sees you, eh? Probably a good idea. Or people will think, yeah, there are humans around here. Find out what... Me Milamir knows what a human really looks like. Are you Milamir? No. Where's Milamir? Well, he's in here, so... You right here. Milamir. I heard you're the guy who's full of shit. Fritz? Where's Matthew? Hey, I'm glad you came. Matthew isn't here. Andrew? Nope. Well, we look a bit bruised. We can use a good fuck, I guess. Uh, Milamir. Well, I hope I can be of some humble Why? Service. Why are you lying, eh? Why are you fucking lying? They tell me you've seen a lot of humans. They say you'd recognize one even in the dark. I certainly would. Buy me a drink and I'll tell you stories that will make your hair curl. Well, I have some curly hair. Down there where you can just suck it. Here you go. Thanks. What's your name anyway? Henry the Great. Henry. Hmm. Anyway, not long ago, I was escorting a goods caravan all the way from Vienna when all of a sudden a terrible storm came down. Hail, lightning, snow, the works. Snow? In summer? Don't interrupt. Where was I? Oh, that's right, the storm. We strayed off the path, couldn't see the ground beneath our feet. And all of a sudden, we heard singing. In the distance, we saw a fire in the clearing with malevolent creatures ranged around it, singing demonic songs. <laughs> Are these malevolent creatures didn't mind the snow? Wouldn't they have preferred to sing somewhere warm? The be quiet. Anyway, as if in a trance. Dude, you're full of shit, aren't you? And at that moment, like we saw them. Were those hideous creatures monsters or demons, you ask? No. They were oh, humans. And a bunch of infants crying and sniffling. Uh, so, someone was feeling the cold. I'd have been shivering too. Snow doesn't do me any good, especially in summer. And those devilish creatures were drinking the blood of babies and fornicating with she-devils. <laughs> with fear until uh, I and I alone managed to break out of the spell. I can tell you, I never ran so fast in my life. I was the only one to escape. Since that time, I've been able to do nothing but sit here. I can't work since that awful shock. I'm probably still under a spell. Yeah, I'm probably. Honestly, probably a spell of laziness. <laughs> Listen, Milamir, what you just said is complete and utter bollocks from start to finish. What the hell would you know about it, peasant? I'm from fucking Scallops. I watched those bastards butchering my kith and kin with my own eyes. Ah, uh, you might have said that before. I could have saved the yarn for someone who'd appreciate it. Where did you hear this nonsense? Who's been spreading all these rumours about how frightening the Cumans look? Oh, the people from around these parts. Bram, the charcoal burner, told me about them. He, he lives in the woods near. Then there's Oliner, the wife of the Talmberg fisherman. 
And young Vashak, a stable boy at the stud farm in Ushitz. He, he saw them too. Man, this quest is also a lot bigger than I thought, I guess. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna ditch some of our outfits here. Um, or not outfits, but some of our things that we got. Um, because it's kind of heavy. And we need to go and hunt for hares while we try to find these people here too. All right, tuck these people in Tarmac, Ushitz and so on, and then we'll also find some hares. Well, the good thing is our hare has about 30 meat, I guess. Well, the one I killed had 31, so they have sometimes more, sometimes less. So just a couple of hares should do it to get 200. Holy shit, look at that. Damn, too much stuff again. Well, 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 would you look at that? I found another poacher's hideout here. In the middle of my woods. My woods. These are my woods and nobody else's woods. Bastards. Bastards. If I find those poachers, I'm going to kill them all. Oh, there's a hare. Perfect. I was looking for one. It's like the first one I've seen so far. And now thanks to our perk, there should be a lot less damn it, skittish now. But it doesn't help us if I'm shit at shooting. Yes, 31. Get in there, guys. Just need a couple of hairs. Just a teeny tiny amount. Only one over here, one over there, another one over here, and so on. Until we're done. But so far, I've only seen one. Hmm. Anyways, since we were here with the Chalk of Burners, where's the guy here spreading oh. false rumors about the kid? Yeah, Bran, you bastard, stop spreading lies! I'm Wait. Up. Wait. Saw you there. I have a use for you. Come on. Where is it? There it is. Come on, little hair. Get it stuck now. Perfect. Damn it. Good. Try differently now. Damn it. No. Damn it. Stay here. Stupid fucking hairs. But he, he stopped seeing us, I guess. Again, they are apparently less skittish. Apparently that's really, really less skittish. Good enough for me. Now I have 62 hair, hair meat, which is good. Which is really, really good. Now, what do you know about humans? So you know what humans look like. You know shit. Once when I was going alone through the dark woods, that's of no interest to me. Ah, uh, but... Uh, Look, save the tall tales to impress the wenches. I'm not interested. Well, well, they're decked out in raven feathers because... Well, so a black hen would do. But that wouldn't have magical powers. Right. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Get raven feathers. Find some black... How am I supposed to find some black raven feathers? How? Get raven... How? Do I have to shoot a raven? Anyways, um... I think we should... I, we're going to... Ushits first. And then to turn back because there we can do uh, the quest with the Chamberlain too. Hopefully, we can. You didn't want me fighting. Now look at me. Standing up to evil isn't the same as sowing its seeds. You did what was right.